Hey everybody, it's Nicholas Rogers with the Big Timber! Let's come back at you today with another fun and informative video where we're going to have a look at some comments that a viewer left on one of my videos on whether or not he has a point or whether or not he needs a come to Jesus moment. So let's jump right into this. So on my chest, I have my 945 Industries Bruh. Tactical Fanny Pack. And boy, do I get a lot of hate and a lot of love because of this. But these comments weren't made about this holster. Instead, they were made about this add-on backstrap. Block 43X. It's made by Rapid Engineering. Now, the slimline pistols from Glock do not come with an adjustable backstrap like the larger full-frame pistols do. And because I have a bigger hand, when I would choke up on this pistol, I would get really bad slide bite right back here where the slide would come back and hit me. But because Rapid Engineering made this adjustable backstrap with an extended beaver tail, I no longer have that issue. Well, one of my viewers said that this looks horrible. It said that it's not actually about how a gun functions. It's about how a gun looks that makes it actually cool. You know, let's just read his words. So this viewer first stated, there's a reason why Glock did not create one talking about this adjustable backstrap because that shit looks stupid. Fight. My response, I'm glad you base the value of a gun on its looks and not its performance. His retort, 99% of the gun community does. You're the 1% bud. Looking cool is half the battle. Finish him. Mm. So first and foremost, my initial reaction to this guy is you need a serious come to Jesus moment about what firearms are. This is a tool. If it looks cool, that's because you think it looks cool. But realistically, how it functions is much more important than how it looks. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways. Let's, let's jump into what he stated though. I, I think that there is a very large market in the firearms industry that appeals to people that have never actually had to use a firearm in let's say the line of duty, as a service member in our military or in a self-defense situation. And it, it's got a sexy allure to it based off of video games, Hollywood, and, and other things that we've seen in magazines and lore of firearms. Um, and because they've never actually had to use their tool, the functionality of it doesn't seem as important to the sexiness of it. Um, I don't, I don't, you know, I, I'm not mad at this viewer for leaving this comment. I think it's a very telling comment of where the mentality of a lot of the gun you know, enthusiasts and aficionados are these days, which is, I want my firearm to look good more than I want it to function well. And I don't, I don't fault him. He's probably played video games his whole life. Probably rarely, rarely goes outside and touches grass. He's probably still a virgin. What? And that's okay. It's all right, buddy. Um, but we're going to have a quick discussion here. Somebody that served in the military for nine years, um, somebody that's seen people be taken out with handguns. Your function of your firearm for your personal hand, for your personal style of shooting is much more important than how a firearm looks or what other people think about the firearm. Perfect example, the Staccatos, fantastic pistol. Man, buttery smooth, right? Absolutely gorgeous pistols. I've liked them since they were STI, which was the brand that they were before they became Staccato and they were rebranded. I have held them. I have manipulated them. Yes, they feel great, but they're not necessarily my cup of tea for what I want in a carry pistol. Would I like one as a race gun? Probably, but as an actual carry piece, not so much. Um, and people say, oh, you just can't afford one. Bro, I got YouTube money. I can afford whatever I want. I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> no, <laughs> but, <laughs> but anyways, 
you need to find what works for you, right? And even if it's 90% there, like for example, this Glock 43X, but I was getting bad slide bite on my hand and have some scarring. Um, once I saw this adjustable back strap that provided an extended beaver tail that prevented me from getting slide bite, that took me to 100% of where I wanted this to go. Actually, that took me to about 95%. Adding a um, you know PSA Dagger Micro Magazine or a Shield Arms S15 Magazine to give this a 15 round capacity took it to 100%. And I don't care what you think. I am that guy that walks around with the tactical fanny pack on and I don't care what you think. I don't care if you see me in public and say, oh, he's got a gun in there. Cool. You know that I'm strapped. I don't care what you think. I don't care what the tactical dudes that are all jacked and juiced up on steroids that only rock appendix carry and wear extra small shirts where they should be wearing probably an extra large. And, you know, and, and they're just doing press drills all day, right, on the videos and they look really good with their big fake smiles and yeah, big cowboy hats or whatever they're wearing. Those guys look cool. They have a lot of great advice. But in a real world type of situation, that style of carry does not work for me. Okay, I have small children and I have to be able to carry them. I have a two-year-old and a one-year-old. Sometimes I have to carry them both. I can easily just take this, put this around my back, carry both my kids, and now my firearm is not accessible to my children while I'm carrying them. Yes, it's not really accessible to me, but realistically, sometimes you have to be a dad more than a vigilant soldier 24 seven when you're in public, but at least I still have my firearm on me. And if I needed, I could put my children down, bring this up, get to my firearm and draw, okay? So don't let people just sell you on the Instagram gun cool pages. Boy, I'm on the Instagram and I'll tell you what, man. <sighs> that crap makes firearms look very, very Hollywood. It's always nice lighting. I swear to God, they got face filters for guns now because guns never look like that in person. All the colors are really nice and matched and you know, people are like really, really cool. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man, the guys that I know that have actually served, whether it's cops, whether, you know, special operations forces or just grunts, Marines, um, you know, or have had to use a firearm in a self-defense situation. Very few of those people actually like the glamorization of firearms it's a tool to them <laughs> oh man the stuff that we did to our guns in the military just throwing them down on the ground you know we didn't care if our ACOG got nicked up we didn't care if our suppressor got a ding in it as long as the baffles weren't messed up and still went pew pew instead of boom boom we didn't care we don't care right it's a tool tools are meant to be replaceable right and also the way you get good with the tool is practice and you shouldn't always be looking for the next best thing coming out to replace the current tool that you have you should get really good with the tool that you have and then when something that is completely earth shattering or groundbreaking as far as technology comes along then you start looking at replacing your tool right perfect example screwdriver with the screw if if i need to put screws into a fence right and i get a screwdriver maybe i want to get a screwdriver that has a really nice comfortable grip so my hand doesn't get tired screwing all day right but then the next screwdriver comes out and guess what it's got a chrome shaft on it i don't really need that and then the next screwdriver comes out and maybe it's got some lights on it i don't really need that and then one comes out with a laser so i know that i'm going towards the actual screw head i don't really need that but then a cordless screwdriver comes out. Not only is it going to be more comfortable, but it's 10 times faster than me doing it this with my hand. That's what I need, right? That's the next step up. That's the next evolution, right? So that's the mentality that you need with your firearms. Get good with what you have. Make what you have work for you, right? Make what you have work for you. Who cares what other people think, right? This is a tool that's meant to defend you, okay? Who cares what other people think of what you have? If your hand, and you're a man, fits a Sig Sauer rose, 
and that feels good in your hand and you practice with it and you shoot that well and you're confident shooting that, get the Sig Sauer Rose. Who cares what other people think? If you have giant hands and a slimline Glock isn't gonna work for you because your hand just swallows this up, kind of like, uh, what is it, Outlaw, Honest Outlaw, then don't get a slimline pistol just because all your friends are. Get something that works for you. And then when you get it, figure out how to make it work even better, which is what I did with this Glock 43X. So to the viewer that left the comment of, you know, 99% of the gun community does, you're the 1% bud looking cool is half the battle. That might be the mentality with the tactical folks, but those of us that have actually had to use firearms in the line of duty or in self-defense, it's not about looking cool. It's whether or not this is going to work with this and this and be able to save my life and those that I care about that are around me. So, till next time, peace.